morning so sorry it's a little late uh this morning coming to you i uh, woke up with a sinus headache today so obviously didn't get off to the best of starts uh it's eased off a little bit uh so i thought i would go ahead and record this realize that probably most of you have already started your day and you're probably already neck deep in it but hopefully you get to, to see this a little bit later on in the day or i'll catch it a little bit later and hope it'll encourage you as we walk as disciples of jesus i want to read two verses this morning as our our uh, time in God's Word uh, from Exodus chapter 34. Uh, I want to read verses 29 and 30. Uh, we read, Now it was so when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them. So when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. Uh, this happened when Moses was called by God to go back up on the mountain uh, with two more tablets that he had, uh, you know, put in Moses' heart or commanded him to prepare. I remember Moses had destroyed the original two tablets that God had inscribed front and back with uh, uh, the Ten Commandments, the law. He had destroyed those when he came down off of the mountain and discovered that the children of Israel uh, were dancing around the golden calf that Aaron had fashioned for them. Uh, so God had said, I want you to uh, prepare two more stone uh, tablets. I want you to come up and I will give you the law again. And he was up there for 40 days and 40 nights. And we're told that over that 40 days and 40 nights, he didn't eat or drink anything. So he was in the perpetual presence of God for 40 days and 40 nights as God, again, instructed him in the way of the law and, and inscribed those tablets. We're told uh, a little bit earlier, a few chapters back, that God actually inscribed those tablets with his own finger he got god it wasn't moses up there you know god dictating he's you know uh he's doing the tablets god had actually himself wrote those tablets which that's pretty awesome uh that's kind of an aside what i really want to focus on right now is the fact that when Moses came down after being in God's presence for 40 days and 40 nights, his face was shining. Uh, the glory of God had affected him in that manner that physically his face was shining with the, the glory of God. Uh, and when he came down, he wasn't aware of, he, you know, that was to him, that was just what, what it was. You know, he was, he, he didn't even realize it. But when he walked into the camp with the tablets, people saw him and it says that they were afraid to come near him because they saw the glory of God on his face. A little bit later on, we, we discovered that Moses put a veil over his face. But when he went up to talk to God, when he went to the tent of the tabernacle, he would take it off and talk to God face to face. Now, what can we uh, discern from that? Well, as I was meditating on that, ver those verses and thinking about it, I asked myself, does my face shine with the glory of God? You know, as a disciple of Jesus and as the Holy Spirit works in us to do his work of, of sanctification. Now, again, we realize we talked about this a little bit yesterday. You know, progressive sanctification is what's going on in you and I. We cooperate with the Holy Spirit as he works in us to produce in us the the, 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 the image of Christ, the character of Christ. Uh, and so people are beginning to see more of Jesus and less of us in our lives the closer we walk with God. Uh, does my face shine with the glory of God? Now, I'm not talking about physically. Uh, you know, yeah, it would be kind of awesome that if, you know, I could spend that face time with God and, and you know, my face would, would glow uh, like Moses is. That would be kind of cool. You know, obviously, it would probably be very frightful for a lot of people, but I think it would be kind of awesome. Uh, but anyway, uh, does my, my life glow with the glory of God? You know, the reason that, that Moses' face uh, was, was, was glowing was that he was spending time with God. The direct contact he had with God caused his face to shine with God's glory. Friends, for you and I, the contact that we have with God will cause our lives to shine. And, and how are we shining? You know, obviously good disciplines uh, to, to grow spiritual are so vital. You know, spending time in God's Word, spending time in prayer, spending time worshiping God, not just when you go to church on Sunday, but developing that daily discipline of worship and, and Scripture and prayer and allowing that, that time, spending that time with God. The more time we're with God, the more we're going to begin to look like Him, begin to think like Him. Our minds are going to be transformed, and we're going to become. We're going to begin to shine. You know that should be the desire of every disciple of Jesus Christ. 
that our lives would begin to shine with his presence. So as the scriptures say, people will see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. So friend, today, let's make it our desire. Let's make it our goal to shine, to, to, to just glow with God's presence. So when people are in our, 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 our presence, you know, unbelievers are saying, here, there's something so different about this, this, this dude. There's something that, that I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something different about him. You know, when we're together with other Christians, people are saying, I sense the presence of God and I, I just am provoked because of that. I want to, to grow deeper in my relationships. That's, that's how we spur one another along. You know, we don't need to walk around self-righteous and act like we've got it because we don't. I, you know, none of us do. But the more we're with God, the more we spend time with him, the more we're going to begin to reflect his character. So let's make that our goal, to, to allow the Holy Spirit to create in us this passion and this desire to be like our Savior and, and fuel that with good, healthy spiritual disciplines that help us grow so that we can become more like Jesus. Would you pray with me this morning? Father, thank you so much for your word. And I just pray, Lord, today that you would empower us to seek you like never before. Lord, do a work on our hearts so that our passion is to be like our Lord. And, and God, we would just, uh, Lord, just be willing to do whatever we need to do so that we're in your presence and we're growing and we're becoming what you say that we are in the word. Lord, I thank you, God, for just uh, showing us today in, in Exodus 34 what can happen when we're in your presence. And, and God, it's my desire that my life shine for you, that people look at me and say, wow, there's something different. So, Lord, I pray that today all that are going to hear this, I pray that you would encourage us to just, just, just to really just to fold ourselves into your presence so that, God, we are becoming like Jesus. I thank you, God, for your word, and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. I do hope you have a great rest of the day. And again, I apologize for doing this so late this morning. God bless you guys.